another. Come on. Be ready. Be ready. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Butter all over my pants. All over the floor. The Baconator burned my hand. Look at this. They're ruined. Butter all over the floor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Tim. You're right. That was a disaster. Hi, everybody. We're just catching up with Tim's last week here and seeing the fun times that he manages to split up his morning chat three different times. And that kind of is Tim's latest style of video is having morning chat, but having morning chat in three different parts. But anyway, oh, we might have to go back and take a look at that. But one thing, Tim, I can let you know is that the, if you're trying to like pull something out of a microwave and you have like one hand on a camera and you have the other hand trying to do something, but you're, you know, you're more focused on trying to create this content that you continue to put out, then obviously accidents are going to happen. <laughs> and I did not need a flash of the, the shot by the groin area, Tim. I don't think anybody needed to be that up close and personal with the butter disaster. But anyway, that was one of the things that Tim had going on this week was obviously his uh, uh, disastrous butter stuff. But anyway, let me just throw out my fair use stuff real fast uh, so that everybody knows that I am reacting to Tim content and uh, using obviously clips. And obviously, uh, this is just for entertainment purposes. That's all. Nothing else. <laughs> so anyway, a couple of other things that were very exciting that uh, we found out about Tim this week, other than that he still has not learned anything about filming one-handed, is that he went off and uh, purchased a pair of shoes at uh, McDonald's. And the one thing that I found quite interesting about the obviously the uh the purchasing another pair of shoes is that tim obviously is uh always obsessed with you know purchasing uh shoes <laughs> and shoes items and as you just saw um i gave a nice flash there of uh tim's leg and that's really <laughs> What I want to focus on, it's not him purchasing the shoes from Macy so much, is the condition of the lower part of his leg down here. That is just, I'm glad he's following up with the dermatologist. I'm so glad. I mean, my hair wild today too, but yeah, let's make me smaller so we could just, just uh, bathe in just how exciting exciting this shot is and how glad we are that Tim continues to bring this quality content uh, to his subscribers, uh, all 16 million thousand souls that watch, which is not what Social Blade or any of view stats or any of these uh, websites that correlate information around YouTube channels. Any analytics? They don't say that, Tim. Anyway, let's take a little listen to uh, this because I have a feeling we might have to have a visitor pop in. I got white, now I got brown. And the next time I come in, I'm going to be getting the uh, blue. You see, they say the style is you can wear slacks, shorts, a sport coat with jeans, anything with these shoes. But you don't want to wear tennis shoes that have like stripes like Adidas or Nike Swish. You want them plain. You want them, you want them plain for a casual shoe. And I just don't get it. I, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm coming up a little bigger. Tim, Tim has no actual like legitimate assets all the things that he has are liabilities it's a flagstaff 
RV, it's a car, it's a truck. All of these are considered, you know, more like vehicles, uh, more than and properties and liabilities, and then a home. And he has no permanent place, and he buys more shoes. I don't have three pairs of the same type of shoe in three different colors. And I'm supposedly a girl. I never, ever thought to do that in my entire life. That is an insanity to me. I'm, I'm just, I can't believe it. And, and I just, you know, the thing that every time he goes out, I mean, and then we've got his, you know, buy me a coffee going on. So we know we got to, you know, sorry, my hair is wild today. Uh, you know, we know I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have that's dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? No, no. I simply. Yeah. Yeah, we know what that is. Anyway, so that was one of the things, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Tim just kind of went off and, you know, went to Dillard's, uh, probably went to McDonald's. <laughs> uh, and then we know he went to his, you know, all time favorite, favorite location, uh, which obviously is uh, McDonald's. And so we have to take a look at this just highlight moment of petty that Tim has because we know that Tim loves just to, to to pay it forward as he says pay it forward so let's listen to his you know uh drive through experience here you? doing good I was just telling my uh, community about you on YouTube oh really I said my favorite lady's here this morning oh thank you hey how about um the order behind me how much is it 1643. 1643? It's, it's a big one. I have one that's a medium coffee 160. You want to do that one? Yeah, can I? Yeah. <laughs> you heard it right here, folks. We don't edit around here. Hey, can I get a finger? Uh-oh. We won't be getting a wave either because they're about two cars back. I never thought of that. Find me an order that's cheap. There you go. <laughs> $16. That's about... That's about nine dollars over my limit. <laughs> I like to spread it around a little bit. Thank you. You be blessed. Oh, uh, you as well. Day. God Bye. bless you. Ah, oh, folks, that was fun. I told you we have fun around here. Sixteen dollars. Who buys sixteen dollars worth of stuff at McDonald's? Yes, sir. Senior, with three creams. Best cup of coffee I ever drank in my life. <laughs> folks, here it is. Best cup of coffee you'll ever drink in your life. Let's open it up. We ain't worrying about waves and beeps. It was only a dollar and a half, but uh, $16. I've done it. I've done $53. Oh, God. Not doing it this morning. That's, that's money towards golf. Golf, baby. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that's a perfect lead in to the next and last clip that we're going to watch for today on Sarasota Tim. Oh, Tim. Uh, you saw it, guys. You know, obviously, he's got to still get that that buy me a coffee money, but uh, he does have a price for his generosity. Though, if you ever go to his buy me a coffee page, which if you go to the links in his channels, you'll find it, and you'll find mine too. And thank you very much for those who said buy me a coffee for my content creation. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to give a heads up a little bit about what's going to be happening uh, with my channel uh, coming up uh, starting in November. So back to Tim. He um, obviously still talks about that $53 that he spent. But as I was saying, <coughs> pardon me, if you go to his buy me a coffee, you will actually see the donations that he gets from his subscribers is actually rather generous. I mean, I have seen up to, I think, 10 coffees, 50, and some, I think, even beyond that. So Tim does very well. So I just, this was, that was Hallmark Tim. That's kind of how Tim rolls, that you'll see the same content every day. Okay, so the last thing we're going to take a look at actually was something that he posted um, this morning. So I'm going to share this tab instead. Let me take the transcript down. 
Uh, again, it just kind of highlights a little bit about what Tim really <laughs> thinks of his channel and the people that care to watch his content and how he cares to get his views. He did have a crushing it for Christ. Um, and I think at the very end, maybe we'll just take a quick peek see at his uh, views and what he's getting so far this morning. Uh, when I took a look at it this morning, just sort of what videos he had put out because he's now got to this like one, two, three, like parts of a morning chat. So they're like, instead of him like putting out 45 minutes of content, obviously, he's now putting them out for 15, thank you, Junebug, 15 minute, uh, so, you know, 10 to 15 minute uh, videos and getting, you know, probably then more access if he's getting anything at all uh, at this point. And then his subscribers then end up watching, you know, three different videos and he's obviously going to get the views and the money. And that's going to hopefully work for him coming into November and December time. Because as any YouTube content creator knows, those are the very best months. Uh, and I just realized I've got the fan. So you're going to see the light changing above my head. Because there's a fan above me. I just realized. So apologies, folks. Uh, <laughs> I just realized that. Oh, my. Such a professional. Um, so, yeah. He will end up having um, more, um, you know, money to be made in those two months. And in all YouTube creators, that's where, you know, companies are obviously advertising uh, more heavily and investing more into their ad revenues because of the holiday season. And YouTube and the creators get to benefit from that. Okay, so the last part of this morning chat, here he is. This is what he was up to here uh, let's just take a look at what tim up to here uh, let's see how much he cares about his viewers and what they enjoy watching i'll have that later this afternoon i want to talk to you guys this morning about golf golf baby you're like no no we don't care about golf <laughs> i know a lot of you don't i know a lot of you don't and uh when i make some videos on my golf you can let me know in the comments uh, do you want to see as long of a video or just a little bit of it or none of it? Um, well, see, Tim, you're trying to get engagement in these terrible golf videos just by asking people to make a comment. So comment down below if you watch Tim's golf videos. <laughs> but see, this is how little he really is concerned about what his audience enjoys because why does he care? Why does he? He's putting out the golf content and hoping that either it pays for itself or a golf company or golf sponsorships or golf brands or something probably in line with golf reach out to him and want to do programs with him or he can do affiliate links around golf. He wants to do the golf, guys. He doesn't care that you don't care that you don't like that content, that you came there and he's got morning chat port to hashtag social security, hashtag retirement. And he does nothing about this and has no expertise in either of those two subject areas. You just retired and you just take home a social security check. That's a lot of uh, a good proportion of, of folks your age, Tim and older in the United States. It does not make you an expert, though. Keep going. Because uh, I'm going to be golfing. I could even, after this video, look on my phone and book around today because I'm good, I tell you. I'm good. <laughs> I got it down, man. Yesterday, oh, aside from a couple of holes, I could have broke 80. Let me just try this here. Delicious coffee. Oh, gosh. I... I uh... So you're just going to keep talking about golf. Mm, okay. Well, that's really not very interesting, Tim. Okay. Let's see then <laughs> how many views this golf thing has received since he put it up, since it's just such wonderful content. Uh, I'm surprised he's got this many subscribers. I've seen some interesting things with his subs. Uh, he's had 14 comments. All right. Let's get to his homepage, shall we? 
He's had 14 comments on that as of that particular time, but it might be a little bit delayed um, from when I set it up. So, oh, he's put out another video from the mall again. Oh, what, what, uh, streamingly good, streaming good content, Tim. So here we have <laughs> Crushing It for Christ, uh, 198 views over the last three hours for a channel that supposedly has almost 66,000 subscribers. That's really terrible. Um, see what he's doing with these morning chats. He's got morning chat part one. Uh, let me make me actually smaller so we can see this better. Okay, there we go. That looks a bit better. Okay, so he's got all these different uh, morning chats, you know, McDonald's. Um, I'm surprised he can even pronounce Deuteronomy. <laughs> oh, he's doing his food here. His biggest views are he, when he went ranting. That usually gets people in because he's off on a rant. Um, talking about refusing something that's going to get some hate watch, probably. Um, I'm surprised he got 2.1 on the the golf but he said it was one of his best rounds and then he talks about his political stuff which you know burn your channel down Tim you make your choices um and then he has part one part two morning chat that he threw in a crushing it for Christ in a part three today already and then thank you Junebug he's now doing see look he goes into Macy's oh no I did it again I walked into Macy's and then he's talking about hashtag social security, hashtag retire. Thank you, Junebug. There's nobody at the door. There's no nobody, nobody there. Uh, just the same old, same old. Nothing different. He's off to the mall again. And but you're hashtagging it with things that this there's nothing to do with going into a Macy's, Tim. This is just spitting out the same old point shoot spit out nonsense that Tim just produces. Evening chat. I mean, I cannot make this stuff up. This is not of any type of... All right, guys. I'm going to be finishing this video up. I think my neighbors are doing some, like, work next door on the home, and it's getting Junebug barking, and they're drilling, and so you're going to start hearing that. So I'm finishing up this video now since my neighbors are doing... <laughs> <laughs> uh, construction work. But anyway, I did want to just thank everybody for tuning into the channel. You're going to notice some changes coming up into November. I am going to be changing the memberships. Uh, one, they're going to be less expensive, but two, uh, this is going to be one tier and it's kind of just a channel support at 99 cents um but i'm gonna have a video where i'm gonna talk a little bit more about upcoming changes that are coming up with the channel um i hope that people do enjoy the changes obviously i want to be able to use my own expertise in psychiatric mental health to start to talk about topics around trying to take care of one's own mental health especially coming up with the holiday season coming through this election season and so forth and wanting to really start to focus on that and how I personally try to manage my own stress in life, uh, especially with somebody uh, with my sort of set of uh, unique circumstances that may not be so unique and may actually apply to other types of people. So I hope you do stay tuned and watch for that type of content and that you find it interesting. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, I always appreciate it when people can uh, like and subscribe. Like I said, leave me a comment down below about <laughs> anything to do with uh, Tim, whether you shop at Macy's to buy shoes, just let me know. All right, guys, I appreciate it. It's been a little bit of a hot mess this recording, so I do apologize, uh, but we're just going to wrap it up from here. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.